Hey everyone, this is uh, Magic Lover recording for the MTG Noob, uh, some Commander one-on-one -on -one action. Uh, playing against Hollow Cat and Skullbriar, the Walking Grave. This is a uh, usually a pretty aggressive commander. Meant to get this guy out and really beat down with it. This will be pretty handy because we're a pretty fast deck as well. Um, this is a real bummer since the only land I have is Cradle and white stuff. So, as much as I hate to throw this back, wow. Might get a little greedy here since we're pretty much going to give him a free time walk, but. Well, that's the way it's going to be. So, hopefully, we can draw another land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. So we are going to Soul Ring. Get them out, cast that. Just in case I want to block, which I doubt. We'll give them a couple early beats and then uh, hopefully be able to Garrick out something to slow him down. Crop rotation that will prove handy if I can ever. Yeah, let's get this. Let's throw him in. Pretty much what I'm inviting him to do is swing both at Garrick. I want him to start wasting his mana. Oh, that's a bummer. Start wasting his mana, um, recasting Skullbriar. Since usually when I play him, that's how I get him to win. This is also the type of deck, since that is a, you know, commander that really doesn't have any activated abilities. He's only, you know, only going to win. I don't know why I threw both, but. Knows I'm not gonna block here. Well, we're kind of getting into trouble now. Okay. We're not looking good in this game. That mulligan really hurt us and missing on early mana. So we're going to go for the only thing I, I can see as an out. That is trying to build an army up before he gets us to lethal. So let's. Um. More stuff we can't cast. Oh, jeez. Well, gonna do this main phase. Not that I'm happy about it, but plink them. Make it a close to 39 to 22. Pretty well in trouble here. Our best bet is for a sweeper or another white source so we can at least entreat for a couple. So this is going to get us to 13, 10. And we're going to have to start chumping out some guys here. Oh, yeah. So he's a pure zombie based. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. About the only thing I think is going to save us here. <clears throat> that not having double white is killing me. Uh, wow. I'm going to have to go for Elish Norn here. Um, yeah. Let's see if I... Symbios, 4, it's 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, yeah. I don't think I can wait one to... Okay. So, sadly... Let's, uh... a fail. Hmm. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to pretty much... <sighs> Dang. It's a neat zombie base deck. You know. Lots of zombies, zombie interaction. Uh... That sucks. So, I'm pretty much down to one turn here. My, my only chance is to chump out enough. What can you attack with? What can I go to? 13. So if I blunt 10 off, wow. Sounds at 14. Okay, well, I guess I've got to, uh... Ah, that's a real bummer. I mean, the good news is, you know, if it's going to plan, my, my plan is... Ah, thank you, God. Okay. Second white source. So. I'm going to... Yeah, let's... Okay, let's think this one through. My two options are to marshal coup for a bunch. In which case, I'll wipe it. He'll... these don't have haste. That will, but I can chump it. Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna marshal coup for a bunch in the next turn. Cord for Elish Norn. That's my goal. So, because I can't, I don't have enough mana. And I wasn't going to bother attacking with that.
Okay, I can chump out if he throws Skullbriar at me again. And then I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I can cord for Norn and hit him with a boatload. Yeah. Surprised he's playing that. I mean, it's a zombie, but. This will be handy. So. One, two, three, oh, geez. Uh, yeah. Let's. No, I need, I need green. Okay. Let's get Norn on the board. And... We'll tap a couple, because I'm not too worried about the, um... I do want to be able to put this guy down. I lied, I want to put him down. I know that made me screw my man up, but um, I've been rethinking that. I want to be able to double that, because then I'll pretty much win on the spot. So, let's... I know, a little inefficient, inefficient use of mana there. Uh, I'm going to throw this at him. Obviously not attacking with Norn. So now he's on, on his heels. If he has any sort of drain life, I mean, we're still at a very precarious balance, but we'll see what um, what he can do. That's a bummer. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm kind of hanging on a thread here since he beat me down so far before I could uh, stabilize it all. I mean, the good news is, if, as long as he doesn't wipe the board and I get a, a third white source, I can do, you know, terrible things. Go ahead and swing. Yeah, I think so. Ah, that'll be handy. Not as handy as another white source, but, you know, handy. And I think he sees the writing on the wall here. Um, well, that's a good thing. Just in case... Gain some life. Cast him face down. I know, not the most efficient use there, but... I know I could have Alpha Strike there, but just in case he's going to draw Exasanguate or Drain Life or Sorn's Thirst or I don't know, something, you know, nasty. Of course, now Demonic Tutoring. <laughs> maybe I maybe I should have gone all out there. That might be the lesson. It might be a, a turn too late. We'll see. There's damnation. Yeah. Well. Oh, 
Oh, there's my third source. So. Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, yeah, I, I, he's right. I should have swung there for everything. But, um, yeah, I, mean, I, I probably misplayed it, but certainly figured that's the more conservative route in case he had any sort of shenanigans. I mean, he had cards in hand, and Black has a lot of crafty stuff, so I, I probably should have swung. It was uh, definitely a mistake. But, fun game anyway, and thanks for watching.